Steve Vallo and I'm back on boxing. Um, in one of my recent vids, I was talking about um, Tyson Fury, and I think I touched on upon um, there being come some kind of conspiracy or setup with Tyson Fury, um, with all the allegations surrounding him. So I decided to um, do this video here, just to um, look into that a little with a little bit more depth, and just understand what Tyson Fury has to say about all of this which is going on and what does he really think and what is his future as a boxer his license and everything that comes with that so um he had he had an, a recent interview with the rolling stones magazine and basically he describes that he is a manic um, depressive this is a quote from him i'm a manic depressive i'm in hospital at the moment i'm seeing psychiatrists they say i have a version of bipolar so it's clear that tyson fury is is not in a very good place and um maybe his actions and what he has done could be contributed to his mental state and um from interviews with billy joe saunders his mate has said that he's not in the right place either um, even interviews with Frank Warren has said that he doesn't help himself by the things that he says. And I think everyone in the public can see if we like him or we not like him, we don't like him, we know that it's been a hard time for him. So, um, we're in this interview, he says a number of things about himself. Some of it is quite morbid, um, him describing um, his current state. But what was interesting about what he was saying was um he says that and i will quote he says that there has been a witch hunt for me ever since i won the got a bit of fame and i won the title and he describes that he's a victim of the boxing authorization and a devious drug testers now he beat Vladimir Klitschko for the title and he won the belts and two days after that he was subject to a random drug test now every boxer and any athlete can be asked to do a random drug test at any point and this is not some new thing or something against anyone it is just how it goes but one could say that the timings of this random drug test was a little bit iffy and Tyson Fury certainly thinks that this was because the boxing organizations and the drug testing um, authorities do not like him and have something against him he says it is because of his background and um, I think everyone is subject to their own opinion, but I won't get into that too deeply here. But I just wanted to touch upon how what's going on in his head and really understand what's going on just so that I can help um, myself to find out what's going to be happening. And, and really to find out what you guys think too. What do you think about Tyson Fury as a character? Apart from his boxing, what do you think about the things that he has to say? Do you like this guy? Um, what do you think? Because um, when I see there are always a few people like this. I think he's, me personally, I think he's created a UK legacy as a heavyweight. Um, we're always going to remember him either for good or bad. And in this world, it could be good or bad, but it's still publicity at the end of the day but he describes it as something to slander him and take him he says that they have won and now he's fat as a pig but at the end of the day if it was a conspiracy he has already settled made created his legacy of being an undefeated champion so i i say that and um and anything in a society that we live in this is capitalism so everybody's trying to make money out of everyone so if either of it's fair or it's not fair it's the way it works and when one person tries to stand against things it's it's hard for them but whenever i see things like this i just i i give it a little time to listen and um if 
find out what's going on but yeah i just wanted to let you guys um know that you can uh, you can do some more research if you would like but um regarding his allegations of drug use of the recreational drug um his license in question will be talked about on the 8th of october and I, just, I was thinking, what do you guys think they all would do? Do you think they'll take it away from him? Because at the end of the day, he is subject to, he is allowed to have his own personal life. But the recreational drug that he was using is illegal. So anybody taking it would be in trouble. But because he is who he is, maybe he wouldn't. But does that would that affect his title? Would that affect the belts? Would that affect his license? So these are the things which we will have to think about before the 8th of October. But I'd just like to get it out of there and um, tell you guys about it. So um, today I will be doing a few more videos and predictions. So tune into my channel and don't forget to like and subscribe. Help me out guys and I will help you. So I'll see you then. It's D Valo and I'm out.